What's up guys, uh, it's Will here, um, doing something a little bit different today, uh, so, I mean, I, I literally just got this, um, and if you don't know what you're looking at, I'll explain it in a minute, but, uh, yeah, this, I basically wanted to give you a first impressions video, um, I'm just gonna stick that back there a second, uh, yeah, so I wanted to give you a first impressions video, uh, I'm sorry that, um, you know, if there's a glare on the box and stuff, um, it's usually the case when I do one of these videos. Also, I haven't got the best quality camera in the world, and this room gets pretty dusty sometimes. Um, I'm working on my whole phone setup thing. Uh, another thing I just quickly want to say about this is, um, so I basically traded for this. Uh, I had to trade a few things in uh, so I could afford to get it. Uh, I did not just go out and buy this because it, the, the, especially in the UK, they're pretty new, uh, almost brand new actually. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I just did not go out and buy this thing. I, I can't afford to go out and buy new figures every day like some people can. That's cool if you can do it. I can't. So like, this is a big thing for me now, right now. This is like a crowning achievement. Um, you know, I've got a couple of other figures about, not that I planned to have them in the video and stuff, but it, it's kind of like that bit in Lion King where everyone comes to meet Simba. Um, this figure is really a huge deal, uh, for me anyway, so I wanted to film this and give you my first impressions. Um, so let's look at the box. Uh, now, I'm going to try and get you a look without us having too much of a glare. But uh, it, it's so, so it's in a new style box, and this is a Voyager class figure. Um, but I mean, if you compare it to another Voyager class uh, figure, it's just it seems to be in a different scale and everything. Um, and this is this is what I was waiting for. Um, I, I traded in, okay, so my old Optimus Prime and my Megatron um, and a Deadpool set of figures, you know, just so I could grab this, because it really does mean that much to me. Um, so, looking at the box, we have something new that I've never seen before on the Hasbro figures, but it, it's there, so Takahara Tomy. Um, the fact Takahara having anything to do with this is amazing. You have your Hasbro and your 8 Plus down here, and the line's called Transformers, the War of Cybertron Trilogy Seed. Pretty cool, actually, and um, you know you have this uh, generations logo up here, uh, which you get with what a lot of these. But uh, if I just compare it to an old Voyager box quickly, you can see it's a completely different setup. And uh, whereas that's nice and shiny, that generations thing, this one's now all gritty and messed up. Uh, probably to go with the line because you know they've just acquired the uh, the actual rights to call something to do with Transformers War again. I'm not sure why they couldn't. Originally, but that's what that's about anyway. Um, and you just have this this incredible artwork on the sides, and I'm never a, an inbox collector, but the packaging's really nice on this. Um, so you know, it tells you all your information. There's your gimmicks that every generation's line has. Uh, then you have your legalities and stuff. You know, that has bro stuff. And then if you turn around on this side, you get this amazing image of Optimus. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. But yeah, I wanted to give you my first impressions anyway, so um, I'm normally like so against doing this. Uh, I hate it when I see people unboxing things on camera. I know I'm a weirdo and a lot of people like that, but I don't really care for it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, look, look at that. It looks great inside as well. Um, there we go. So there, inside there, that's your instructions on how to transform him and stuff. Uh, I'm not transforming him, by the way, in this video. Uh, this isn't a review. Although, if you'd like to see me review this figure, uh, just comment on the video and like and subscribe and share and all that stuff. Um, if I know you guys are interested, I'd be a bit more inclined to do stuff like that. Um, I just, I haven't really done a lot of reviews and stuff at the minute because I just really, I haven't had the time and obviously filming on this camera, well this camera's a pile of crap so, 
Uh, that's what that's about. Whoa, you're not free yet, Optimus. Now you are. No, you should be. Yeah, come on. All right, let's get his weapons out first. So he, he comes with an axe. Oh my God, I can't remember the last time I got an Optimus Prime figure that had his axe. Oh, look at that. And it's not like a horrible black plastic either. It's quite a nice cast, that. Um, and it looks like it folds up quite nicely. So you can... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it folds up so you can put it on the truck. Yeah? I'm filming a video, thank you, for ruining it. What? Right, I'm coming. Wow, well, sorry about that, guys. Um, just like father Jew is. But yeah, um, so the axe is pretty cool. Very pleased to check that out. So yeah, I'm just giving you my first impressions and it's pretty much what you'd expect from Hasbro's Transformers. But uh, this is the real deal. So let me just take it out of this off camera. Cause... Like it annoys me when people are like, I get packaging second segments and stuff but it like really annoys me when people start doing stuff on camera and all your hair for like two minutes straight is rattling um it just drives me mad but look at this thing so i have it out the box now um bring this down uh let's stand it next to a dc icons figure um there you go so you sort of see how big he is um not huge but i don't know man i just really really like it um, it's something to say, I've waited a long time for it, you know, uh, like since Comic Con when they were announced, and then this is the other thing as well, um, something like this, so this, I started seeing this come up in Toy Hunt videos in America like a couple months ago, and um, it's like, oh yeah, cool, you're, you're uh, the Americans have got it. The way distribution works in Grimsby, okay, is if I see this in America, I don't get it for five years. So it, um, it is astounding to me that within a month, I, I bloody got this thing. Um, I've seen a couple more figures, the deluxe ones. I haven't seen Megatron anymore, uh, anywhere, but I want that as well. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I'm sorry this wasn't a super long video. If you was expecting me to review this, that's a shame. Um, if you'd want me to see me review it and transform it and stuff, I will do that for you. Just let me know. But I just wanted to give my first impressions, and I am thoroughly, thoroughly pleased with this. Uh, oh, just look at all that weathering and, uh, you know, just detail on this thing. Uh, I can't afford masterpiece figures. Uh, so it's really difficult to get, like, your G1-ish sort of Transformers figures. But I am happy with this. Um, this this is just everything I want in an Optimus Prime figure. I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. But, yeah, incredibly amazing. If you guys like Transformers um, and you're anywhere in the world right now uh, and you're considering picking this up, just go for it. Because um, I walked away originally when I first see it. And I really wish I didn't now. And uh, you better believe I am going to be playing with this thing for days. So it's spent loads of photos and... Or not, you know. I might just sit and become a recluse and just play with this thing non-stop. No, I'll definitely still do stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with it. Um, and I would recommend it to anyone. It, uh, oh my gosh, it just looks amazing. And I haven't even played with it and transformed it yet. I'm just, I'm in love with this thing, the way it sits. Um, yeah. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today. This has been my video. I'll come back with some stuff. I keep meaning to film a, mu a movie discussion video, but I just haven't got around to it. Um, might come tomorrow or something. Okay, peace.